I'm going to quote one of the actors in my film, Chris Tashima, who is our Academy Award winner. He won an Academy Award for his short film, Visas and Virtues. Um, and he has a really nice description of it. He, he calls it the story of a, a, a hopatine who, um, who has to deal with dysfunctional families and drug dealers and um, drug addiction and um, in Los Angeles who's trying to find her way to a, a better life. Um, I started writing this about four years ago. Uh, it had a different title and uh, I submitted it to the Sundance Feature Film Labs and I became a finalist but I didn't get in. So I did a major rewrite, I resubmitted it, I became a finalist, I didn't get in. Then uh, Visual Communications uh, nominated me for the June Lab I, and I did a huge rewrite and at that time I, I changed the title to Model Minority um, and I didn't get in. So uh, in 2010 I did a final rewrite submitted it, became a finalist to the Sundance Feature Film Labs again, and didn't get it. And then the ID Film Fest uh, had, which is a brand new film festival downtown, um, had a, an Asian American Independent Filmmakers Conference. And I uh, applied, and I was one of 30 filmmakers invited to come. And I, you know, there were lots of great panels about filmmaking and um, just lots of great, you know, sort of filmmaker resources. But the best thing was meeting the other 29 filmmakers, and they were all Asian Americans who had shot their own independent films, and I went around the room and I asked uh, how much everybody's films cost, and they'd say, oh, I made mine for 100000 I made mine for 150000 and at that point I had raised about $140,000, and I thought, wow, you know, what am I waiting for? I, I'm just going to do this. So that was in October of 2010. And then in January of 2011, I started pre-production and um, did my casting. I, I called everybody I knew. So it included some people from ER. The wardrobe costume designer from ER stepped in. And I had a lot of people who read the script and said, I want to do this, and it became a real labor of love. Um, so we, we shot it in Whittier, East LA, in Los Angeles last year in um, April, March, April. Asian Americans are often referred to as the model minority. Um, you know, we're smart, we're together, we're, um, you know, responsible, the, all the things, you know, we're the minority that, that, that's, that, that's the good minority, if there is such a thing. Um, but I think a stereotype, even if it's a good one, is, is limiting to how people look at you, you know, rather than looking at Asian Americans as people, if you look at them within this narrow framework, you know, is is sexy in there is artistic in there is you know anything else drug in addict. there drug addict in yeah. there <laughs> i saw this article in the la times about um asian american kids who were dropping out of the uc system and once once i think the people at the uc s saw this they started doing some research why you know, all these Asian American kids who had excelled in the UC system were suddenly all dropping out because there were so many more Asian Americans that were in the UC system. Um, I think initially they got excited about it because that meant that their schools were going to be successful in their minds. And then suddenly so many of them were dropping out that, that they took some action to see what it was. And it was that, the, that parents, um, often first-generation parents, mostly first-generation parents, were pushing their kids into science and math, and a lot of them weren't equipped for that. You know, if, if my mother had pushed me, I went to UCLA, if my mother had pushed me into science and math, I would have dropped out because I'm not suited for that. 
luckily I, I was in the theater department and and graduated with a BA. So, you know, I, I'm a success story, but I was in the right place where I was supposed to be. Um, and so it, it just has to do with um, stereotypes.